Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before we get started, I like to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, with Kadash, and double honor to those green millstone, while it's just truth. And also to the Ophelet, that is scattered abroad. I like to say, Shalom, and come back here today with another great and powerful lesson, the spirit and the power of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So the title of today's lesson is, He Performs Mischief Upon His Bed. So I like to say, Shalom. To all our listeners, learn. Hope this will help you today and guide you back in the path of righteousness and back to your true power. It's in fact, it's Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So we'll get a quick precept before we open up the lesson. Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. So that about the vision or what the prophecies or what are the signs of the time or for that appointed time. We're in that appointed time. We're living in the end time, real time. And I about we already know that a lot of things are coming to pass. And I about we it's already in the news that um uh the FDA has approved uh Neuralink for human trials. So we already know it. I lined up perfectly with what? Revelation chapter 13, verses 15 through 18. Shall go into your right hand or into your forehead. And I'd about, hey man, we're not ignorant of Satan's device. And I'd about, Satan is trying to get their what advantage. And I'd about, who is the physical kind of a part of Satan? That is what Esau eat him. You know what I'm saying? The devil that the Bible speaks of. Now, hey, we're here inside the door. So we're seeing that they get ready to come with these lying wonders. You know, they are getting ready to perform these uh, mischief, you know, upon their bed, upon their what agenda. You know what I'm saying? Their uh, evil scheme or plan. And I did about what this uh, lined up to with the what the digital uh, currency. A lot of things are coming. Lying wonders, you know, you'll be able to what? See better, you know, walk better, run faster. You know what I'm saying? Uh, super soldiers, you know what I'm saying? So we already know that they already has implanted uh, those brain chips in, in certain soldiers. You know, so, they, so it, hey, it is here. They're getting ready to, uh, to perform it. You know what I'm saying? And we're seeing that. This lined up with your transhumanism, you know, whereby they're trying to mass uh, a machine with human, you know, so we're seeing that happen. Pseudoscience, AI, you know, uh, what is this? Um, uh, 3D printing, um, chat uh, GPT, a lot of things are coming down the pipeline. They're getting ready to try to make you a what? A walking Wi Fi or a what? Uh, uh, that you can what? Connect to what? Bluetooth. You know what I'm saying? To what the internet of things, you know what I'm saying? So we seeing that we're here, you know, so hey, no ship, it's gonna be digital programmable and also what implantable. So hey, it is here, it's at the door. So we seeing that they are uh, uh getting ready to perform, or uh, get ready to what to execute, get ready to what to bring out, or what to carry out, or what or try to what pull it off, or what setting the stage for the what the new world order. No, you know what? They want what? Total control. And either to make you a what? A petrol slave. But if you submit or if you consent, you will be totally destroyed. So the type of day lesson, once again, is he performs mischief upon his bed. So I have one a video. Then after the video, we'll start the lesson. And I hope that you will get edified. One day, you could have superhuman vision. Play your favorite albums in your head and download your brain to a computer or even to another body. It's alive. It's alive. It's alive. Though this may sound like an episode of your favorite science fiction show, Elon Musk and his team at the neural tech startup Neuralink believe that their electronic brain computer interfaces could make this possible. Described as Fitbit in your skull with tiny wires. A Fitbit in your skull with tiny wires. The small, easy to install brain computer interface could be used to expand the capabilities of humans, changing the way we interact with technology and treat neural and mobility issues. Yet the goals of the company speaks to a potential problem in the future, artificial intelligence. Musk has been very vocal about his fear of artificial intelligence, believing AI could one day overshadow the human race. Musk's inevitable transhumanist goal of augmenting intelligence and abilities may be necessary if we are to compete with advanced artificial intelligence. 
However, Neuralink's team still has a long way to go before the emergence of AI-human hybrids. The tech company still has a lot of bureaucratic, ethical, and technological hurdles to cross. If Musk's companies accomplish half of what they claim, we could see the emergence of one of the most significant technologies in human history. But how does it work? Simply put, Neuralink is a technology that can help humans interact with machines using their brains. The company's eventual aim is to further develop brain-computer interfaces to the point where one can be installed in a doctor's office. Let's say you opted in to go in for a Neuralink procedure. What would that look like? Neuralink wants to make the installation of your brain-computer interface painless and quick, as easy as LASIK surgery. The design has changed significantly and now resembles a small coin around 8 millimeters in diameter, which houses electrodes that are about 1 20th the thickness of a strand of hair. To install the Neuralink, a tiny piece of skull is removed and the Neuralink is slotted in to sit flush with the skull. Since this process needs to be extremely precise, the Neuralink team has created a robot specifically for this procedure. The entire process could take less than an hour while you are under partial anesthesia. Installing the device will only leave a tiny scar and include all the sensors one would expect in a smartwatch. Once installed, the device will be able to send and receive electrical signals through your brain and use these to control machines. In its early stages, it could allow control of basic devices like a computer and other smart devices. But how? Your brain sends information to different parts of your body using neurons. Neurons in your brain connect with each other to form a network and communicate using chemical signals called neurotransmitters. This reaction generates an electric field. By placing electrodes nearby, you can record these reactions. The electrodes translate these signals into an algorithm that a computer can read. Down the road, Elon Musk claims that the device could be used to operate robots, cure paralysis, treat mental illness, to stream music directly into the wearer's brain, and extend the range of hearing beyond normal frequencies. Just like Neo in The Matrix, you would be able to download skills into your brain. You could even possibly summon your Tesla telepathically. In 2020, Neuralink demonstrated the device installation in a pig. The wildly anticipated demo showed that a living animal can function normally after having one implanted and then removed. Musk has announced that Neuralink received breakthrough device designation from the FDA in July 2020. This is a major step towards eventually mass-producing Neuralink devices. Who knows? Maybe Neuralink will allow us to achieve a symbiosis with artificial intelligence. Would you get a Neuralink implant? So you see that, you know, the vision is for a point in time. At the end, it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, it shall surely come. So we are right upon these times. So we're seeing it happening right before our eyes. So uh, we're seeing that Elon Musk, is, uh, uh, the F, uh, FDA has approved Neuralink for what? Human trial. So we're seeing you know, the technology, uh, the AI, the uh, pseudoscience, these lying wonders that they're getting ready to come to pass. Make you stronger. Make you uh, be able to, uh, if you're blind, you'll be able to see. If you're if you cannot walk, you know, a paralyzed, you'll be able to walk again. A lot of things are uh, there getting ready to come to pass. So we'll start today's lesson in Second Thessalonians, a quick lesson through the Spirit. And once again, I hope that you will get edified. Uh, second Ed chapter, uh, uh, I mean, Second Thessalonians, uh, verse 2 and verse 3, one moment. And it reads, it says, Let no man deceive you by any means. For that day shall come, shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be, re, uh, re, uh, be revealed, the son of perdition. Let's read that again. Uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 3. He said, let no man uh, deceive you by any means, for that day shall come, 
shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. And I about we already know what the uh, falling away was, 70 AD. And I about, you know, so, and also uh, the man of uh, perdition uh, has been revealed. Who is that man of perdition on the physical counterpart of Satan? That's what Esau eat him. You know what I'm saying? The devil that the Bible speaks of, he's being revealed. You know what? Through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh through this wisdom, this knowledge, this gospel. And, you know, also we seeing that what the Lord is also is what removing what the covering can. He said, I shall make what Esau bear. He cannot hide himself. So we constantly seeing it happening right before our eyes. And also we knowing that what the devil is getting ready to come down with great wrath. And I because he knowing that what his time is very short. So we living in these times, real time. And I buy hey, at the end, it shall speak and not lie. Verse four, he said, well, who opposes and exalted himself above all that is called the almighty all that is worship so that he as the almighty sits in the temple of the almighty showing himself that he that he is the almighty and that about we already know who has the mo of this the most proud you know what i'm saying the pride of thy heart has deceived thee you know what i'm saying and that about we're talking about what Esau eat him once again the so-called white man, the devil that the Bible speaks of. And I buy he's a, what he opposes himself. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he exalts himself. You know what I'm saying? He wants to be like the what? The most high. And I buy he what? He covered the faces of the judge, you know, to his image. You know what I'm saying? His likeness. And I buy so he used his what? His false salvation. You know what I'm saying? His pseudo salvation, which in fact is these what? Lying wonders. What? This AI, transhumanism. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, man, he. He's imagining what a vain thing, what these digital dialogue it will work hand in hand with what the what the CBD, you know what I'm saying? The, what the uh, digital currency that's coming to pass. Got to be careful what I say. And that about so we seeing that we're here. So, you know, so so that man of perdition, a man of what a destruction has been what revealed. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we're here. Verse three. I mean, verse five. So like remember, say, remember uh, ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. Verse 6, and now ye know that, uh, now ye know what withholding that he might be revealed in his time. Verse 7, for the mystery of iniquity do already work. Only he who now let it will let until he be taken out the way. And out about it, so we already know who is the he, the most high. He is what? Constantly letting him do his will from what? The left hand side. And out about it, he knowing that he has a very short time. He's getting ready what? To be taken out the way. So that lines up perfectly with what? Revelation chapter 12 and verse 12. The devil is getting ready to come down with great wrath because he knowing that his time is short. His time is up. You know what I'm saying? And out about it, he's getting ready to be cut off forever. So now, let's start back up. In verse 8, he said, And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, the prophets, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. So Lord, when the Lord returned in the valley of uh, the uh, decision or the valley of judgment, uh, that Ezekiel chapter 31, also Joel chapter 3, will give you more uh, uh, edification. And that about so the Lord's getting ready to come and judge this place for the what the controversy of Zion. The Lord is making what inquisition, you know, see, he's making what invest uh, investigation. And that about he's already uh discovering who sin. He's discovering what the two-thirds sin, and also these heathen nations. Who is that the head of these heathen nations? The what? The what? Esau Edom, the so-called white man. You know what I'm saying? Not about the devil that the Bible speaks of. Not about we're seeing that. And we constantly what we're consuming him with the what the spirit of his mouth what with this gospel this wisdom and not so you seeing that the Lord said that uh, this gospel shall be preached throughout the four corners of the earth then shall the end come hey man that appointed time it is here everything is lining up you know what I'm saying just like clockwork and out about hey man we're here the Bible is a true book verse nine it said even him who's coming is after the working of Satan with all powers and signs. And lying wonder. So who is him is coming is after the work of Satan. Esau Edom. You know what I'm saying? With, with all signs and uh, uh, uh with all power, signs and lying wonders. And I about what Neuralink, what the C hip, the RFD microchip, you know what I'm saying? Uh uh robotics, 
you know, transhumanists. A lot of these things that he's getting ready to bring to pass. A lot of people will be what? Uh, 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 will be enticed. A lot of people will be what? Deceived. And out of they will what? Trust in the strength of Egypt. And out of body, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of people are going to be destroyed. A lot of people are going to uh, 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 line up like clockwork. You know, they're going to trust in that what? Broken reed. And out of body, the Lord said, don't take it. But out of body, a lot of people going to be what? Try to save their life and they're getting ready to lose their life. And out of body, if you are not trusting and believing in Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, you are getting ready to be what? Totally destroy and also deceive. That's why the Lord said, uh, the deceive and the deceiver is his, says the Lord. So, hey, man, the Lord is in perfect control. And out of the Lord's getting ready to bring forth what his enterprise, which in fact is what? The kingdom of heaven that dwells in what? In righteousness. Hey, man, the kingdom of heaven it is fast approaching. So, now let's start back up. So also, you know, they'll entice you with things like, oh, you'll be able to what? See again or see better. You'll be able to walk better or run faster. You know what I'm saying? You'll be what? Uh, you're weak right now. You'll be stronger. You'll be like a superhero. So a lot of people are going to get enticed by that. You know what I'm saying? Not trusting in their true power. You know what I'm saying? Constantly leaning on their own understanding. You know what I'm saying? Trusting in that broken reed. And out about, and it will be your downfall. And out about, we constantly seeing that, um, also, you know, uh, saying that you will be able to uh, be uh, what you uh, tele uh, telepathically uh, be able to uh, 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 be able to uh, 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 contact with other. Uh, what I'm trying to say is that you you'll be able to uh, not use your mouth. You won't even have to talk, and you'll be able with a thought be able to uh, communicate with a, a computer or other people that have that uh, that uh, uh, see hip in their in their uh, brain or in their forehead or in their hand and out about so you, you see what I'm talking about so we have to be very careful of uh, you know walking Wi-Fi also the internet of things so a lot of things they're getting ready to do and out about you get ready to be that device and out about hey we're here it is at the door so hey hey we're here so now let's start back up. Second Thessalonians chapter two and verse ten said, "It said, and with all deceivingness of unrighteousness in, uh, in them that perish, because they are received not the love of the truth, that they might be saved." Verse eleven, and for this cause the Almighty shall send them a strong delusion that they should believe a lie. <clears throat> verse twelve, that they all might be damned who uh, believe not the truth, but had pleasures and unrighteousness. So, hey, man, so a lot of people go have a strong delusion. A lot of people are going to be uh, unalive in a, a great number. So we're seeing that, hey, man, we're here. The hour of temptation, it is fast approaching. Jacob trouble, it is at the door. A time of trouble that we have never seen before. So we're seeing that the end is being manifested right before our eyes. Also, uh, this goes into Revelation chapter uh uh, Revelation chapter 13 verses 15 to 18 You know what I'm saying It fit perfectly like a glove You know what I'm saying He causes all great rich or poor or, You know uh, 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 Great or small You know what I'm saying To receive you know In their what Right here Or in their forehead So hey man We coming upon that time That beast banking system This what 5G or 6G blockchain system It's getting ready to come into play And out about the middle of the Lord We're constantly warning you And out about warning before destruction So now Let's go here to Revelation Revelation chapter 14 One moment Revelation chapter 14 And verse 9 Revelation chapter 14 and verse 9 One moment <clears throat> And it reads, and, and that the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his uh, forehead or in his head, verse 10, the same uh, shall drink the wine of the wrath of the Almighty, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation or his righteous what anger, and he and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels in the presence of the Lamb. Verse 11. And the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and, and ever. And they had no rest day nor night who worshiped the beast and his image. And, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. 
And I'd about to say, hey, we already know that it's going into that system. You already know that system is getting ready to come into play. And I'd about to say, hey, a lot of things are coming down the pipeline. In the middle of the world, we constantly warn it. It's, you know, it's happening right before our eyes. You know, we're living in some dark, perilous times. Also, some very exciting time. You know, the kingdom of heaven is fast approaching. And also, the what? The great and glorious return of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. It is fast approaching. It is at the door. So now, let's go here to Revelation chapter 16. Revelation chapter 16, and this, if you uh, be partakers, or uh, you consent, uh, submit, this will uh, will happen to you right here once. Uh, here, uh, Revelation chapter 16 and verse 2, it said, and, and the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth, and there fell a newsome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast, and upon them uh, which worshiped his image. So, so we're seeing what's happening here that, you know, a great uh, plague will uh, befall, you know what I'm saying, a grievous sore, a cancerous sore, you know, so, you know what I'm saying, you know, so it could be uh, that lithium in that, you know, that uh, uh, implant, you know, might cause that, you understand what I'm saying, could cause a grievous sore, so that is about it, but in a, in a way that it go, you will be judged, and also you will be totally destroyed, they will know it, death by pain, the second death, the lake of fire, and I about it's burning with what? With fire and brimstone. And I'd about, hey man, we don't want that smoke. And I'd about, that's why you gotta constantly what? Walk in the path of righteousness. You know what I'm saying? You know, have a spirit of discernment. You know what I'm saying? Wait on the Lord. Fear the Lord. And I'd about, and the Lord will do the rest. And I'd about, we're here. We're living in these times, real time. And I'd about, hey man, we're very close. So now, let's go to our last and final script. Let's go here to uh, Psalms, one moment. Psalm chapter 21. And we'll close out here. Psalm chapter 21. And verse 8, Psalm chapter 21 and verse 8. And it reads, said, Thy hand, uh, thy hand shall find out all thy enemies, thy right hand shall find out those that hate thee. Verse 9 said, Thou shalt make them as a fiery oven in the time of in the time of uh, thy anger. The Lord shall swallow them up in his wrath, and the fire shall devour them. And I about you know that's the indignation of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh when these missiles fly. So we read upon what World War Three. You know what I'm saying? We seeing that we're, it's constantly what increasing. You know what I'm saying? We seeing that you know these uh, brick nations, these nations are constantly turning against the what the whore that sits on many water, which in fact is Babylon the Great, A.K.A. America. And I about so so the Bible is what is fulfilling. And I about that said measure is almost here. And the Lord's getting ready to burn this plate with what with that fervent heat. You know what I'm saying? The first uh, uh the first uh, uh, he destroyed the board by water, but by fire this time. And I about we cuss and warn you left and right. It's it, hey man, it is at the door. So now we we'll start back up. Verse 10. He said, Their fruit uh, shall thou destroy from the earth, and their seed from among the children of men. And not about hey man, Lord's gonna totally destroy them. And I about you know, it's after a thousand years of slavery, they will be totally eradicated. They are the wrath fitted for destruction. Over there, chapter one, it will tell you about that also. Uh, Romans chapter 9 verses I think verses 21 uh, I mean verses 19 through 22 I, I if I'm not mistaken uh, verse 11 Psalm chapter 21 and verse 11 and it reads said for they uh, intended evil against thee they imagine a mischievous device which they are not able to perform. And I'd buy, you know, so, so right when he get ready to what? To fill his belly, his what? His enterprise, his agenda. Right when he tried to what? Execute or bring about or what? Carry out, you know, or try to work it or try to what? Pull it off or what? Set the stage. The Lord is getting ready to what? The rain what? A fire and brimstone uh, while he is eating. While he what? Trying to set it up. And I about that's why I say that he will not be able to perform his enterprise. So we are not ignorant of Satan's device. And I about we knowing that the great dear Lord is faster approaching. That's why we must what? Always what? Watch, pray, and be sober. Because what? The kingdom of heaven, it is at hand. So the title of the daily lesson, once again, is he performs mischief upon his bed. So I like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rikakadash. I like to say, Shalom, Shalom.